one of my absolute favorite subjects. Moi! Cheers! <laughs> Welcome to my channel, I'm Andre. Today's video is a requested video and the request is to answer questions about moi. <laughs> but before we get into all of that, I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. While you're there, you can press the bell, which will notify you every time I upload a video. And a thumbs up is very much appreciated. Okay, let's get right into this video. Make sure you are sitting comfortably. Get those legs up on the sofa or tuck yourself into bed or wherever you're watching. Grab your favourite beverage and let's talk about me. <laughs> So the request comes from Susan Lord and she basically would like to know how and when I came to move to Scotland and where my family are from in Cyprus and how Rico and I met. So we'll start off with my mum and my dad. So both my mum and dad were born in Cyprus. My dad was born in Paphos in a village called Neohorio or Nyohorko, pronounce it as you like. Basically it translates into new village. It's basically um, in Bolis but higher up. <laughs> kind of like up in the mountains type in Bolis. Bolis is in Paphos. Okay, so Paphos, we'll say Paphos. I'm sure a lot of you will know Paphos. So that's where my dad was born. My mum was born again in a mountainous village called Guri. That's where she was born. I actually went to Guri in one of my Cyprus vlogs. I actually went through the village. It's really a, a lovely kind of traditional type of village in the mountains quite incredible how young children grew up and never fell off the mountains basically the the houses were built on the edges basically in the mountains it's unbelievable really really lovely and uh, my mom just told me lovely stories and sometimes when we watch um Greek TV, Cypriot TV and they film in these villages. It, it reminds me of the stories that my mum used to tell me. So that's where my mum and dad are from. Then my um, mum's family, my, my gran and grandpa moved to Nicosia. My grandpa bought the land that um, I have, I, I now have a house on, so where my mum's house was and her sister's. So the, the piece of land that my granddad bought was a big, big piece of land. At the moment on that piece of land, there is one, two, three, four, five houses. And my land, you could easily build three houses on my land easily. So... He bought that and that's where they, they lived. So um, my granddad built a house on the land which has now been knocked down for my cousins to build their houses. And then he moved out of that house and moved and built the house, the original house that is now mine, that was my mum's. And he lived there in that house because my mum moved to London. So anyway, so that's where they come from so my dad then moved from Paphos to Larnaca where he built up his own business my dad was a tailor so he obviously learned a trade and then he built up his own business and my mum went to work for my dad and the rest is history they fell in love Basically, and there was a big age gap between my mum and dad as well. 
um, there was about 18 years between my mum and dad. Anyway, they fell in love and they decided to move to the UK. So that they moved to the UK and then my dad built a business in the UK, a successful business, again, a tailoring. So he used to make made to measure suits and yeah it was all very interesting growing up because um you know we had we my beginnings were quite humble my mom and dad worked extremely hard extremely hard to you know to build up a business to be able to buy a house in london um you know and they did extremely well for themselves and i'm very very proud of them so, I grew up in London, I went to school in London, I went to college in London, I did business studies, blah blah blah, and then at 16 Rico came into my life. So this takes me on to how Rico and I met. So I, I think I have spoken before in one of my videos that it was very traditional for um, couples to have arranged marriages but again not arranged marriages in the way some people imagine them to be like um you know arranged marriages from young you know you would introduce a couple or like all these internet sites and blah 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 but that is not what happened with Rico and I a lot of people assume that Rico and I had an arranged marriage it wasn't an arranged marriage at all um, I was 16, I wasn't on the market, she would say, for marriage, I was only 16. So, so, what ha so what happened was, it was a Sunday, on Sundays what would normally happen, you would, it wasn't unusual for relatives or friends to pop round on a Sunday and visit. This was the norm, this is how we grew up on, in London, we were very social you know, our parents had their friends and you would meet in people's houses, you would have barbecues. It was all very much like that. The, the, the Greek separate community would all come together very much like that. Sundays, you're expected to go vis to visit a relative or have a relative or friend come visit you. It was a done thing. Anyway, down the road from us, my cousins lived and they were going to go and visit cousins of theirs. And they said to me, did I want to go? This is as good as it got when we were when we were younger, you know, was visiting other relatives. You know, we weren't allowed out to party and had, go to discos, you know, discos and parties and all of that. So they want they asked if I wanted to go with them. So I said I asked my mum. My mum was like, no. And the reason she said no was because my cousins' cousins were boys basically and it was like no, 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 no. you're 16 that is not happening you're not going and I was like I want to go it was boys I wanted to go and she's like no you're not going to I want to go and you know of course we had our usual daughter and um, mum argument because I wanted to go she wouldn't let me to go I went into a mood my dad kept out of it although he was saying to my mum you know in the in the background you make sure she doesn't go she's not going anyway basically <laughs> little did they know what was going to happen that sunday so i wasn't allowed to go because there was boys there and i was 16 and i was at that age where boys were very very attractive and then um, so i was in my room in a mood and the doorbell went so it was the usual wonder what relatives have turned up or friends or whatever and I stayed in my room I was like come down come down and I was in a kaftan I was just wearing a kaftan in the house you know just like that and I'm, and I'm coming down the stairs thinking oh here we go again because I, I was desperate to go with my cousins to <laughs> see their cousins and uh, I came downstairs and the relatives that I knew were there and amongst them was this young chap very well dressed very smart and stood out bearing in mind I was 16 I think Rico at the time was about 22 and kind of Rico was a mature 22 year old he was very much out there you know 
I was quite, you know, he'd, he'd been out. Rico was kind of very out there and had a, a great social life and kind of what would say like a man of the world I was like a wee girl compared to Rico and I kid you know I'm like mm. I'm like mm, mm, mm. but I'm 16 22 well dressed and, <laughs> and I was like hmm so what had happened was Rico had come from Scotland to shop for the restaurant so to buy all the Greek things because even now we hardly have any of these things up here so he for every so often Rico would drive down or my father-in-law would drive down to London and shop the things that they needed to take back to Scotland so this time it happened to be Rico it drove down he was staying with relatives and these relatives came over to our house and this is how Rico and I met. So basically I was like <laughs> sitting there with this calf tiger <laughs> at Rico and thinking jeez I'm sitting here in a caftan looking like I need to do something about this. I need to I, I need to do something about this and I'm kind of thinking of that like, mm. so I went upstairs put on a pair of jeans you know I couldn't just go and look at you know I'd been sitting there and then all of a sudden go upstairs and get all dressed up and I thought went upstairs and I put on my pair of jeans that I had out for my mum to um, turn up for me that I was going to wear to college the next day and um, so I put into my skinny wee jeans like this and I came down <laughs> just just so we can knit, see what was going on under this kaftan you know and uh, so my mum was like, oh, I'll turn them up for you after. I was like, no, 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 you have to turn them up for me now. It's going to get later. Turn them up. Anyway, th this was all a ploy. But Rico at that point could not, it wasn't the done thing for Rico to approach me. Because our families knew each other, he couldn't just approach me and say, <laughs> you know, it, just, it couldn't happen. But th there was a lot of eye contact between Rico and I and he basically had to say to his mum, because, you know, it was two Greek families that knew each other, he had to say to his mum that he was interested and um, basically then his mum had to phone my mum and kind of ask her what she thought, you know, would she allow it? And my mum my and dad are very much, you know, if that's what's meant to happen, it's meant to happen. And this was all going to be supervised. It wasn't going to be, you know, my, is the word dignity? No, my whatever wouldn't be compromised. What's the word? It's not dignity, is it? My, my, I can't think of the word. Anyway, whatever, I wouldn't be compromised because it would all be done above board so my mum obviously discussed it with my dad and my dad says well ask her what she wants to do and I was kind of very like I've said before very feisty kind of person and I don't honestly think they thought I would say yes and my mum says to me right we've had a call and so and so Rico that was here would like is interested to take you out what do you think and I was like hmm this sounds like fun I'm thinking to myself you know this sounds like fun you know I'm not allowed out anyway great opportunity to go out with a guy basically you know have some fun and I was like yeah and I think my mum was very much taken aback I, I really don't think she expected to hear that and so it was arranged Rico came back down we went out and we kind of hit it off and it continued we kept seeing each other very much like that and then he would leave work he would leave the restaurant on a on a Saturday night after a shift and drive down to see more <laughs> and it was getting serious and my mum said to me look you sure about this are you absolutely sure because you know 
you'll be leaving your home, you're gonna go and da 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 and I was like, Yeah, 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 yeah. I I, I was I I was absolutely smitten at this stage. And I remember my mum thinking, Boy, that this is now getting serious and I remember her taking me into my room. I remember her coming into my room and you knew it was going to be one of those chats and she says to me you need to think about this seriously this this is about you and the rest of your life you need to seriously think about it you know you're still very very young and you know at that age you think you know everything but actually you don't at that age at 16 you you really really don't know anything and I was very, yeah, 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 no, no. I'm sure mum's like, and I, and I think she was testing me at this point. And she says to me, you know, if you don't go, I say, and I, I swear this is what mum said to me. She says to me, you know, he, she says to me, you know, you know, he always wanted that Mercedes, that convertible Mercedes. And I said, yeah, she was like, see if you don't go, I'll get it for you. And I don't know if that, was her just testing me or if she would actually buy me that <laughs> but, but anyway that was her trying to just see how serious I was at it I mean I laugh and laugh at that at my mum actually trying to blackmail me basically and I said to Rico when we got married I said you owe me a Mercedes a convertible Mercedes big time he did eventually get me a CLK which we don't have anymore anyway so that was how we met basically so you know Rico eventually proposed it was all done very it was probably done a lot quicker than if Rico was in London at the time because he was having to he was traveling up and down to um London all the time from Scotland to come see moi so that's how Rico and I met and then that's how I came to Scotland so I moved to Scotland Rico already had a house of his own here, so um, I came to Scotland and made a life up here. It wasn't always easy, it was very hard to begin with because I left London, I left all my friends, I left my mum and dad and I had to start building a new life here from nothing. The only person that I really knew, like, was Rico, and he was working a lot of the time as well because of the restaurant, and, but you just make your life and you just get on with things, and that's what I did. And four years after we got married, um, Rico and I had Costa. But it, again, it took me a while to have Costa. It took me four years to have Costa because we, for the first year we decided we didn't want children the, the first year of our marriage. We were kind of traveling and decided to wait a year and I, I was still very young. And then once we decided to, to have a family, you know, I then kind of suffered with miscarriages. It took me four years before I had Costa. Then I had George. Then I had Luke Mario and now they have their wives Kelly, Ruth and now I have my grandchildren as well Theo, Georgie and Anna and that's my story so far. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope I haven't bored you because it's all about more but that's basically basically and I say basically how it all happened. Cheers like to see more videos from me i'm gonna like one here here and if you're not already subscribed just press the a right here and if you have any questions just leave them in the uh, comments below and i'll try and answer them for you or maybe make a future video cheers